reaction to the uh, comments today uh, from the federal government about the marijuana situation. It seems that uh, they've said, uh, actually, some of what you've said, which is that the drug remains illegal, uh, storefronts selling it remains illegal, uh, but have it, we still have this legal vacuum then as we look forward to next year. Well, I welcome uh, the clarity that came from uh, Ottawa, although it was clarity that came with respect to some of the top facts. I mean, the law is the law until it's changed. Or until the court is uh, 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 So I've always felt the law is very clear. And I support what the government of Canada is doing with respect to moving ahead with legislation to legalize. But as uh, Mr. Blair and Mr. Trudeau and others have said, it's going to take some time as well. It should if you're going to do it right and answer all the questions that have to answer about things like distribution and how that's going to be done. And so to me, they've made it very clear to um, clear to everybody, clear to municipalities, clear to people, clear to those who want to open dispensaries, uh, you know, uh, clear to, I guess, the uh, law enforcement people that the law is the law. Uh, the law should continue to be uh, enforced and there should be no intention on their part to indicate otherwise. And so I guess we all go forward so, in our case. Um, that means that we will continue to examine or will examine this business of licensing, which is really a local thing. Uh, the law enforcement will make whatever decisions they make because they make those independent things you want government. And uh, all I can say is I don't think the view of the people has changed in light of any of this, which is that they don't want uh, marijuana dispensaries uh, on every street corner or in every retail strip uh, because they just don't think that's consistent with a lot of more important they don't think it's consistent with the uh, livable community. But it doesn't leave you in the kind of plant that spending all this money, arrest, rounding up all these people, arresting them, uh, not, not cheap to do all these investigations, and then possibly a year uh, the basis for all those prosecutions will evaporate. Well, but we've never operated on a system whereby, uh, at least not often, where, you know, when the law is a certain way and then it changes down the road, we sort of just forget it, but we broke the law before. Um, and so I think in this case, uh, people that are in law enforcement enforce the law. They do it within their own discretion. Uh, and as for us, uh, with respect to the possibility of licensing that they've done in Vancouver, we're going to continue to investigate that. But I just hope, really, more so than anything else, you would like to hope in this country, which is founded on the rule of law, that a very clear statement that came this morning from the government of Canada saying the law has not changed. It is going to change, but in the meantime, the law is on the book and it talks about dispensaries and, and rules with respect to what people can be doing and buying and selling of uh, marijuana. The people would respect those laws like they respect every other law. And that's why the city's legal staff says you can't license these things. You don't have the jurisdiction. Well, I don't think that matter is settled as yet. Uh, I think it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's under active consideration, but legal staff will have whatever view they have, but uh, the bottom line is that um, those are the kind of things we have to get older in terms of trying to deal with this local, we don't have jurisdiction to deal uh, with the criminal law or with law enforcement per se, and that's done by the law enforcement authority. So, you know, again, there's no magic wand to wave on this one either, but I certainly welcome uh, the, the clarity of the statement that came from the ministers in Ottawa this morning. I think it's very welcome to the issue of the I always suspected was that the law is the law, until otherwise uh, changed by Parliament. Clarity is one thing, but there are really looking for guidance. Well, again, uh, you know, the guidance isn't so much coming to me. Uh, the guidance, is, 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 and it isn't in some respect coming to, to police officers and people who enforce the law because politicians don't give law enforcement officers direction. So the guidance really was directed, I suppose, more so than anything else at the people. And that's why I say it relies as much on, on people saying that they're going to be patient. You know, I want to say to those who are, you know, very anxious to sort of say, well, let's uh, sort of, uh, you know, roll from the doors and pretend the law has changed. Not so fast. The law is going to change.